Hello, dear friends of Wesley United Methodist Church, the Church on the Hill. I am Deborah Landrum, the worship director and a lifetime member here in Marysville. You have seen me every Sunday playing on the piano and singing with Orad and I, our praise band. Unfortunately, today I am greeting you because Pastor Doug Eberly's dear father, Reverend Harry Eberly, passed away on Tuesday, February 23rd, to be with his wife and the Lord. Betty just passed away last week, and her graveside service was yesterday. Pastor Doug and his family need some time to grieve and adjust. He greatly appreciates your prayers. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. What a Friend We Have in Jesus was originally written by preacher Joseph Scriven as a poem in 1855 to comfort his mother who was living in Ireland while he was living in Canada. When a young man, Joseph was engaged to be married to a lady whom he had known and loved for a long time. All preparations for the wedding had been made and the date had been fixed, but shortly before the wedding day arrived, his promised bride was accidentally drowned and he was plunged into the deepest sorrow. We need to rely on God. He is our father and our friend. He loves us so much that he gave us his son to save us. He is always there for us. He will celebrate with us and he will hold us in his strong arms when we need comforting. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41.10 Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. John 15.13-14 Jesus is our exalted king and our truest friend. His friendship magnifies his glory because it displays the immeasurable riches of his grace. Ephesians 1 verses 6 through 7. Only grace explains the sovereign king welcoming sinners as his friends. Jesus tells us to obey him. We never tell him to obey us. Our obedience doesn't earn, but rather proves our friendship with him. He draws near in our suffering, and he remains committed even in our stumbling. He lets us all the way in and loves us to the very end. 
He doesn't just justify us and then nudge us aside. He welcomes us into his deepest heart. He knows us better than we know ourselves. And he loves us more deeply than anyone else ever could. We are closer to his heart than anyone has ever been to ours. Jesus chose us as his friends. He died for us as friends. He caused us to trust him as our friend. And he will remain our friend for the endless ages to come. What a friend we have, moment by moment, now and forever, in Jesus. For Lent, Wesley is experiencing Adam Hamilton's study of the way walking in the footsteps of Jesus. He uses historical background, archaeological findings, and stories of the faith, retracing the footsteps of Jesus from his baptism to the temptations to the heart of his ministry, including the people he loved, the enemies he made, the parables he taught, and the roads he traveled. You may join Jeff Miller's 10.30 a.m. Zoom Sunday School class by contacting Jeff or the office to get the invite that includes actual footage of the Holy Land and lots of discussions among the classmates. Several announcements. Wesley Preschool is now accepting applications for the 2021 and 22 school year. Classes are available for one and a half years old to pre-kindergarten and are designed to meet the needs of a child during each of their most formative years. Applications are available on our church website wesleyum.org preschool. The March-April issue of the Upper Room is now available in the lobby. Please stop by during normal office hours to pick up your copy. There are a limited number of copies of Adam Hamilton's book, The Way, Walking in the Footsteps of Jesus, available in the church office until they are gone. This book is the basis for our church-wide Lenten experience. We continue to live stream our worship service every Sunday at 9 a.m. on both Facebook and YouTube. Let me close our time together with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you for giving us such a wonderful friend, your Son, our Savior, Jesus. Help us to remember to turn to him for comfort, for guidance, and for peace. Thank you for walking beside us and for being our strength and sure foundation as we journey here on earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for checking in, and please keep Pastor Doug and Dee and their family in your prayers. God bless.